Hi friends, we're live. It's Friday. <laughs> I'm so excited because today I am doing something that I have never actually done before until last night. Um, I was just playing around with the gel liners and I did something that I love. I did these little gingham checkered nails with these tiny little flowers. I was just going with the flow, letting the gel liners kind of tell me what they wanted me to do with them. And I am so pleased with how it turned out and I am so excited to show you what I did. Hey Janine, thanks so much for coming. Um, so yeah, so we what we're gonna do today is I am gonna use, I use the neon gel liners and I added a little, little white to make them um, a little pastel, but I also, because they're checkered, have the brightness of the neon also. Um, and I did it over Bohemian Moon, which is one of my favorite white dips. Um, I did one dip because I was going to just do my nails. <laughs> and then I decided, hey, I should do this with everyone. So I do have one dip on and then I'll add another layer um, but yeah, we're going to do these really cute, all different color, little checkered nails with like a little flower. It's so cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know whatever, oh shit, I don't know if I should wait for more people to come or if you guys just want to jump into it. I think we should just jump into it. Um, it's kind of a yucky day, so I have... <laughs> rigged this light system up in front of me. Um, so if it gets too dark and you guys can't see or anything, just let me know and I'll figure it out. But I'm so happy to get into this. I really, really wanna get into this. Um, so I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna try to be quick. That way we're not sitting here all afternoon. Um, so I'm gonna flip my camera around and we're gonna get started. Okay, here we go. Let's see. There's my light. Ugh. So while I do this, what's everyone up to on this Friday? What's everyone's weekend plans? Let's see, here we go. Is that good? Can you see this? Let me just try to, there you go. Zoom in a little. All right, so what we're gonna do today is first we're gonna dip. I, let's see. I feel like I should put this lower. Every time I feel like I should put it lower, but then I end up dropping it. Let me just fix my camera here, guys. Hey, T. Hey, girl. Um, I just want to be able to do my nails and see you. So I'm gonna lower this camera a little. That. All right. Better. Oh, it's always a process, right? Okay, can you see my nails better now? There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna start out with is Bohemian Moon. It's a really pretty color, so pretty that I use it all the time, and I only have a little bit left. So I'm actually gonna pour it in one of these little French trays here and just dip my nail right in there. Um, so let's start out by using our dip liquids. If you guys get the mystery box and you wanna use code RMMYSTERY, you can add the dip liquids to your mystery box and you'll get the dip liquids for free. Just add them to your box and add the code and it will come off and you'll get free dip liquids, which is so exciting. All right, so I've already done one dip on this nail just because, like I was saying earlier, I uh, was just doing my nails. I didn't think I was gonna do this for the live, but it came out so cute, so I kind of stopped mid Manny. But if you've dipped once, you've dipped a million times. So the only thing different here is instead of dipping, I'm just gonna kind of lay my finger in it. Like that, and tap tap. Beautiful. And now I'm done with that. I'm gonna brush it off. And then we're gonna activate. This is gonna be a quick one because we're only gonna do one dip. There we go. Tihi, your nail art, you've been getting so good at it. I've been seeing all your flowers and things you've posted. 
It's looking real good, girl. Okay, so while this dries, let's chat. What's going on? Guys, Um, are you on TikTok? If you're on TikTok, drop your TikToks below and I will follow you because I am really excited about this contest coming up with the little jelly tips. I don't know if you've got them, but they're giving a discount code on these or you could use Rach20 to get them. But they're doing the celebrity nail art, which I'm really excited about. I am trying to decide what celebrities' nails I'm going to do. I keep going back and forth between like... Um, What's her name? Well, J-Lo. J-Lo has pretty incredible nails. And then, hey, Nick. What other celebrity? Oh, what's her name? She's married to Ryan Reynolds. Why can't I think of her name right now? Pretty Blonde was on Gossip Girl. Her nails are always inspo. I love them. Um, so I was thinking about possibly doing one of her sets. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just file the edges and lightly buff and we're gonna get right into this nail art. Oh, it's pretty smooth. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that contest. Great prize. Um, I'm definitely gonna be posting. Yeah, right, Janine? Oh, Blake Lively, yes. I keep wanting to call her Serena from her Gossip Girl con uh her Gossip Girl character, but her nails, oh my gosh, did you see her at the Met Gala? Ugh, if I could figure those out, I would. Those were stunning. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add my base coat. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Um, and I'm just gonna add one layer of that to my nail, and then I'm gonna flash cure. There we go. Make sure to cap those edges. There we go. So what else? What else is going on, everyone? It's Friday. I'm pretty excited. I try to always tell you guys what my plans are because I'm talking to myself. My plans are tennis this afternoon with my kids. And then usually we have baseball. Let's cure. Uh, usually we have baseball and baseball is not tonight it was last night and it got canceled and then we have a game tomorrow morning and then actually tomorrow night my cousin is having her 30th birthday party and it is a surprise and it is a mystery a murder mystery dinner which i'm super excited about i've never been to something like that before it's like at a restaurant and there's like actors from New York City coming in to like act out this murder mystery and we all have to dress up and we have to, I don't know, I guess we got to decide who's the murderer. Apparently it could be one of us. Um, with my luck, it's probably me. <laughs> but even my kids are invited, so I'm sure it's not going to be too crazy. Um, and then what else? Next weekend is Memorial Day weekend. Next weekend, I probably won't be here because I will actually be in North Carolina for Memorial Day. Um, I'm just thinking this out loud right now, so sorry guys. <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. Okay, so this was my palette from yesterday. You guys know I like my messy palettes. Um, what I did is the color we're gonna do on the pointer, we did like, I'm doing like a pink to orange to red gradient kind of. So I'm gonna use my neon gel number eight. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of white to it. Let's find a clean spot, if we can. So I'm gonna mix like a ratio of like one to one. And you don't need that much. Just a little dab. Dab, is dab a word? Um, my sister, some nails. Yay! Oh, I need white. Where's the white? White, white, white. Oh, I put it away, I think. Okay, we'll use this one. Oh, you pulled over to watch? Girl, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Catch the replay. All right, so one to one ratio. Doesn't have to be too much. And then we're gonna get started on these, these things here. All right, I feel like I put everything away because I was trying to make a space for, uh, let's see, 
There's my brush. I was trying to make a space for so that you guys wouldn't see my messy table. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix this up like so. I feel like such an artist with this palette. I don't know, being a messy artist, I feel like that's the only kind of artist you can be, right? If you're messy, you must be good. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna tell myself. But adding the white made it this like really pretty like milky neon almost, like pastel neon. Pastel neon, that's the word I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Priorities, girl. That's right. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's see, do I need a nail stand so you guys could see a little closer? Is we're just gonna draw lines. I feel like this is really easy nail art. It was so, it was just straight lines. All we're gonna do is go from the bottom to the top and we're just gonna draw one thick line, another thick line, and then two across. So, up and up. I'm gonna use those as guidelines. We're just gonna kind of fill it in. It might take a while. I was doing it right in front of me. Now I have to kind of do it away from me where my camera is. And I'm shaking because I always get nervous when I do lives. Is it weird that when I concentrate, I have to talk quieter, even though it's still me? If you can't hear me, let me know. I'm concentrating though. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. No, oh, it's a pretty color though, mixed with the white. I love that you can mix all the colors together and make your own. All right, let's go on this side. Straight down, straight down. I think I, I think I recorded myself doing this, so I think I'll try to put together a little mini tutorial of it too. That way, if you don't feel like watching the whole live, you could just kind of get an idea of what I did. Oh no, they're meeting in the middle. I have to wipe that. Oh, ready. Just whoop. <laughs> wipe it. That's my eraser, my finger. There we go. Straighten them out a little. I will tell you, it took me a little while to figure it out. I always wipe and rewipe. I actually have a um, tablecloth on this table here. It's from Valentine's Day because I have so much stuff on top of it. I just don't feel like changing it out. I used to change it out every holiday, but now it's just covered in nail polish because <laughs> I keep wiping my nails on it. Um, okay, let me just get a towel here. My finger, my eraser. Okay, now we're gonna go across. So I just did two lines. We're just gonna go one, two, three, four. Oh, how lovely did that work out. Here we go. Like that and like this. I'm trying to think what else is going on, guys. Did you guys watch Annette's live last night? I watched it while I put my kids to sleep. I was very excited. She used the uh, gel palette from the mystery box. It was gorgeous how it turned out. The glitter on that palette is just so stunning. It made me want to do a whole glitter mani. Let's see, let's fill that in. Um, she's so good at nail art. I feel like I'm just, you know, I just do it for fun. I don't really know, like she was asking me what oil I use to uh, prep my brush. I did not use an oil. I get new brushes. I just kind of like wipe them on a paper towel and push some, uh, let's see, should we cap it here? Push some gel through it. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we're gonna just cure that. And then the real fun starts. So you could go over it again if you really want, if you want it to be more of like a, a solid, color if you know you think that it didn't have like a as good of a coverage as you would have liked oh can you guys see i got my light there um but yeah i i think just like one is enough for me but let's see now we're gonna go back 
into the orange. These colors, ugh. And then I went to bed last night and I saw my husband and I was like, look at my nails. Look at my checkered glowing nails. They're so cool. I think it's so fun. Okay, so what we're gonna do, oh, hey Jess, look at you. That's my sister-in-law, everyone. Doesn't do her own dip nails, but supports me and I love that. Okay, let's see. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go where the lines cross and we're just gonna draw little squares. And that's what's gonna give it that checkered gingham pattern. Pattern, Gingham, am I saying that correctly? My shaky hands. And it might not look like much in the beginning, but as you fill it in, it'll all come together. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I am going to do little flowers over it. So if there's any imperfections, we can easily cover it. Let's see, can I get that in there? Let's see. But yes, back to the um, TikTok contest. I really wanna know what celebrities you guys are thinking of doing because I need some inspo. I really, really love Blake Lively. I really think that might be my um, my inspo for this one, but I have seen a couple Met Gala looks that I may need to try. Actually, I might have to do a couple manis because there's so many that I really do wanna try. Okay, so let's go to the other side now. It takes a little while. It's a labor of love, guys, but when it's done, it's gonna look so cute. Here we go, one, two, three. You guys know I like to sing my nail art. Sing to my nail art. Here we go. What else, I, um, let's see. I feel like I should write down topics to talk about while I'm doing my nails. Let's talk about codes. If you guys want to get the gel liner code or if you want to get the mystery box, um, my code for the site is Rach20 for all your shopping. And then for, let's see, the mystery box, it's RM Mystery. Uh, what other code? I think that's it. I think those are the only two right now. But today we're using the dip powder, we're using the gel liner kit, we're using the base and top coat. Um, actually, I don't know if they have the rhinestones on the website, but I used the rhinestones for this Manny from one of the mystery boxes and I am just starting to dig into using like uh, all the little charms and stuff. And I'm loving that I have this mystery box because that's where I got the charms. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna get a little tiny peek right there. Over there. And over here. Look at that. It's coming together. No, of course it doesn't have to be perfect. It's art. And we all interpret art in our own way. So whether it's messy, or not perfect, we'll call it abstract, you know? It's all just about you liking it. Yeah, you definitely have to take your time, enjoy the journey. I just posted a reel on my Instagram, which you guys can follow me at all the underscore Rach. Um, but it was the uh, Harry Styles sitting there saying that he's having a fantastic time or he's in, oh, he's in a fantastic mood. And I'm like, that's me. Every time I sit down to do my nails, doing my nails puts me in a fantastic mood. Fantastic. Okay, so yellow. We need the yellow. I think I, think I used the bright yellow. I think I might have mixed it now that I'm looking at my palette with some white as well. This one's dry, so can't use that one. My palette's dry quick. But oh, look how neon that is. Gosh, it's so fun. We just need a little. And we're gonna add some white to it. One to one ratio. 
like that. And we are gonna be using a dotting tool for this part. So let's uh, mix this together. Yeah, I think that's the color, right? That looks like that color. And this part, you guys can do whatever you want. You could just do little dot flowers. You can make them as elaborate or simple as you'd like. Um, I did three on one nail, two on another, three on this one. So it really doesn't even have to be anything too crazy. Let's say one, I'm just gonna dot. I'm gonna do five dots. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's do one down here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I'm gonna connect them with our brush. And I'm just gonna wipe off. You don't have to clean nail art brushes. Nail art brushes aren't meant to be cleaned with alcohol or acetone. It makes them spread out. If you do have a little one that spreads out, you can just um, like clip it off with nail clippers. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag these little circles in and they're gonna look like little petals when I do that, see? Um, if you really need to clean your nail art brushes, you can clean them with like, um, I think there is a way you can clean them. I mean, you can use the, the brush cleaner from your kit and it probably will make your bristles spread out. Um, but then there's this trick where you can take a bar of soap and you could just take your brush and you kind of wipe it with like a little water on the bar of soap and you keep twirling it around and it makes your bristles stick back together. But if you take care of them and you wipe them after every use, your bristles shouldn't need to be cleaned too often. Okay, so next we are going to just put a little tiny dot while this cures of yellow, a deeper yellow because it's for the center. And we are just going to dot that on. And then we're also going to do tiny little green leaves. So let me put some green out here. There we go. All these pretty colors. Guys, if there's anything else you want to see, um, actually, maybe next week I can just do a live on like a Wednesday. Maybe that would work. If you guys want to do that, we can bump it up and maybe do a live on Wednesday. Um... Yeah, I, oh, Debbie, yes, I do clean them with clear gel. That's in between, but, um, like, if the gel hardens and you need to use, like, alcohol to clean it for some reason, which I don't recommend using the alcohol, but if you really, really had to, if you really love the brush and you want to do it, again, I'm not a professional, so maybe that's not the right, <laughs> that's just what I do. Um, you could use, like, in between, you could just kind of take the clear gel and wipe that in between, too. It's hard talking to yourself this long without having anyone to talk to. Okay, so we're just gonna dot this in, right in the center, little dots. It's already looking so cute. Boom. And while that cures for one, I mean, I'm gonna flash cure this. They're so tiny. We are gonna start scraping our brushes through the green, just like this. This is what you would do with the clear. <laughs> if you really wanted to. All right, here we go. Ugh, my hair is all in my face. You know what they should put in a mystery box? They should start putting scrunchies. I'm always looking for a hair thing when I do my nails to put my hair up. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna add these tiny little petals on either side. They don't have to be perfect again. <laughs> Just little tiny, I try to like dot it in one of the corners here and just slide it up. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's see. So we dot and slide. Dot. More. And then wipe up like that. 
I'm trying to think of, I feel like I'm missing things to tell you guys. I think all week long, all week long, I think about our time together and what I'm gonna say and what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna start out. And then finally we're all together and all I can think about is how my nails are turning out. Let's see, there we go, look at that. How's that look guys? It's so cute. So this is what I do. This is how I clean my brush. I fold it over, I pull it out. Sometimes I do that a couple times until the color doesn't show up on that thing. But then you can wipe it through some clear gel and then you just put the cap back on. And that's how you save your brushes. Just like that. Okay. And it's good if you have a place that's not in the sun so that they don't um, harden. Okay, so now we're gonna use our top coat. And we're gonna top these babies off like this. And I'm going to cure that till it's dry. I don't know, like 30 seconds maybe. Cap the edges, especially if you want that nail art to last. And then we're gonna cure. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. What else is going on in my life that I can share with you guys? Hmm. It's kind of yucky here today, but we've already discussed the weather. We discussed the contest, which I'm really excited about. I hope that you guys are all going to participate. Uh, what else? What else is going on? Anybody have any good dinner plans? I was supposed to have a babysitter tonight, but she canceled. Bummer. I have to cancel my reservation still. Um, oh, I learned how to make some Thai food last week. That was exciting. It came out really good. <laughs> I love Thai food. Hmm, what else? All right, I think that's dry. Let's get some uh, cuticle oil on these. And guys, that's it. Let's see how they look all together, all these beautiful colors. Oh, look it. I'm ready for a picnic with my little picnic checkered nails. All right, guys, but that's it. Uh, Rage 20, if you want to shop the site. RM Mystery, if you guys want the mystery box and all the goodies that come in there. Um, just add the liquid set. And I will see you next week. I'm going to try to find a day that's not on Friday because I'm going away. But hopefully I'll be able to fit one in earlier in the week. But other than that, guys, till next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.